Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice to um, Noahides, to uh, Jews returning, Balei Shiva, and to converts to Judaism. And um, I want to spend a brief time talking about the famous verse in Deuteronomy, I am placing before you here today a blessing and a curse. This is in chapter 11, verse uh, 26. And uh, the Torah in this verse is um, expressing a very basic principle that's throughout the Torah. Free will. Free will. You have a choice, a blessing and a curse. If you do what God expects of you, if you follow the commandments, if you love God and do what's right, there will be a blessing. If you don't, not so much. You're going to get the curse. Um, there are consequences of your decision, but you have free will. And I believe it was the Svas Emes who says there's actually a bracha, actually a blessing, where we, uh, we bless God for giving us a free will. So a lot of people say, well, I'm not familiar with this blessing. This is a blessing that the observant Jew says every day. It's the first of the, uh, uh, of the bless blessing of the, uh, of the morning uh, prayers. Asher nasan l'sechvi bina l'chavhim bin yoim v'n layla, who's given the rooster the understanding to distinguish between um, day and night. Uh, now, uh, what do roosters have to, to do with anything? Well, the word rooster... Um, also can be understood to mean the heart. It's given the heart, the understanding to distinguish between day and night, good and evil, light and darkness. So Svasanas is saying this, uh, this opening bracha for, those, uh, for the morning prayers, sure, you're talking about roosters, but you're really talking about God who's given us the understanding to know between good and evil. And it's in this knowledge, the knowledge of good and evil, that distinguishes um, people from animals. Uh, we have an elevated sense of right and wrong. Uh, a dog and a horse don't know that they're naked, for example. Um, there's no sense of morality. They're governed by instincts. Um, some animals, dogs, horses, um, they know when they've displeased us or they've learned that there's something that they've done that they shouldn't have done, but that doesn't compare to our knowledge of good and evil, our knowledge of um, uh, right and wrong. Um, that's what raises us um, above um, everything. Uh, it's this bina, this, 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 this understanding. Um, and, and these are things that are in controls. So the, the, the next blessing, who hasn't made me a slave, who hasn't made me a Gentile, who's uh, given me my gender, these are things that are completely out of our control. We can't determine how we're going to be born, a Gentile or a Jew. We can't determine our gender. We can't determine whether we're born into slavery or freedom. But the free will, that's in the first bracha. Uh, that's something that we must hold precious. Um, we do not have in Judaism the concept, the concept of the devil made me do it. The Yitzhahara, the Satan, what Christians call Satan, he, in Judaism, he cannot force us to do evil. Sometimes our Yitzhahara, sometimes our evil inclination is very powerful especially with respect to certain things. One person may not have no temptation to gamble, the other one it ruins his life. The other person has no temptation to drink, he finds the whole thing meh. The other one, it destroys his life. But ultimately the choice is yours. Um, and of course our obligation is to choose the good, choose the blessing. Stay away from the curse. There are consequences of our actions and consequences of our choices. Let's choose wisely. 
Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you so much.